All right, so these next ones are a little bit more challenging, um, but they have been known to pop up in the star test once in a while. So here, still doing average speed, so taking the total distance divided by the total time. So the example here is a student walked two kilometers in 30 minutes. So two kilometers in 30 minutes. But the question is asking, what is it in hours? So we're going to have to do a little extra math. So we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So in order to get from 30 to 60, we multiply by 2 times 2. Okay, oops, that's a times. All right. Whatever we do to the bottom, we do to the top. So 2 times 2. Okay, it's four. Super easy, right? So here would be four kilometers. Then, again, we're looking for hours. 60 minutes equals one hour. So this right here, four just stays. The 60 changes just to the hour. So the student is walking four kilometers in an hour. All right, let's do one more example. So here we have a bus which is traveling 20 kilometers in 30 minutes. So 20 kilometers, 30 minutes. Again, we want to know the average speed in hours, so not minutes, in hours. So before we can do anything else, we know that in order to get from 30 minutes to 60 minutes, we're going to multiply by 2, okay? Then, whatever we do on top, I'm sorry, on bottom, we do to top. So 20 times 2, so again, I come over here, uh -oh. 20, sorry, 20 times 2, you get 40. So 40 kilometers. Again, remember, there are 60 minutes in one hour. So I know this equals to an one hour. So this 40 stays. This equals that, so we can leave it alone. And our answer is 40 kilometers an hour. So for extra credit points, see if you can do this next one. A car drives 15 kilometers.